What is your first half biggest takeaway? Don't overlook the offensive line. We want to talk about why Baker Mayfield's getting murdered every week because the Cleveland Browns overlooked the offensive line and how important it was. And so he's playing under duress every single week and just taking hit after hit after hit. And everyone wants to remind everybody that Aaron Rodgers is the greatest quarterback in the NFL. Well, why? Because they paid attention to their offensive line, invested into a draft pick, and now they have one of the best offensive lines in football. And the team that played in the NFC or represented the NFC in the Super Bowl last year, no one's talking about the Rams. Why? Because they overlooked their offensive line and now are no longer nearly explosive as they used to. Andrew Luck retired a week before the season. The Colts paid attention to their offensive line, and it paid dividends. Yeah, and, and, and the reason that Andrew Luck retired is because for so long they didn't pay attention to their offensive line, and they wasted, if you will, uh, the career of a guy who might have been one of the all-time greats. Okay, so there's one. Swagoo, what is your primary first half takeaway? The running back position is not dead. Mm. All right, and listen, there are guys impacting football games from the backfield. Not only Christian McCaffrey and Aaron Jones, and we talk about the guys that are that are doing the things at a high level, but look at San Francisco as well and their scheme. Dalvin Cook obviously here. You think about these guys that are making an impact on their team, and it's not just conventional turn around and hand the ball off. They're catching passes out of the backfield. They're implemented into the pass game now, and you look at what Shanahan is doing in San Francisco. Oh, everybody spread the ball out. Let's throw it 50 times a game. We're going to line down. We're going to see if you can buckle up and stop us Quickly, from toting the note. Mike Tannenbaum, from a front office perspective, is the way people view the running back position changing? For the longest time there, it felt like those were just interchangeable parts. Get one, you get another. This one gets hurt. We get another guy. Don't use a high draft pick. Is that changing? Yes, and to Swagoo's point, when you look at guys like Christian McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, they're transformational players, so yes, that position is evolving again. The question, however, is the durability of it, right? Like, is what we talk about quarterbacks, you can't let them get hit that many times. Cam Newton, people like that, they start wearing down. That's going to happen, too, to guys like Dalvin Cook and Christian McCaffrey and the others. But, Greedy, you've made the suggestion before. You take that running back in the first or second round, you get the best years of their career at cost 30. It makes a lot of sense. So, right, but, I, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Okay, no, finish. Here, here's the – they're using them so many ways now, right? This, this unconventional thought of running backs being – their usage and their legs and all of that. Now you got these guys spread. Now they're doing a lot of different things. When I was in the league, it was run power and lead and get your running back killed until they break one. Now it's so different the way they are using these guys. It's almost evolving a little bit like the tight end position hmm. evolved over time. All right, Mike T., what is your primary first half takeaway? The value of the having depth of the quarterback position and kudos to the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> you're, you're next there. And the New Orleans Saints, you look at the law firm of Brissette and Bridgewater. Those are two teams that are still alive because they've done a great job of addressing that position. Jacoby Reset is a good starting NFL quarterback. And you look at the New Orleans Saints, 5-0 with Teddy Bridgewater. He made a lot of money. He's positioned himself to be an unrestricted free agent, and he'll do well in the market. Right, Dan Graziano, talk about those quarterback yeah. injuries. And look, I'll add Carolina, right? Kyle Allen, they won four straight games with him after Cam Newton got hurt. And I was talking to their GM last week, Marty Herney, about the idea of that backup quarterback position. And he said, you know, the, the studies are showing them that developing your own is the way to go, right? So Jacoby Brissett was ready to go and play in Frank Reich's system right away. Kyle Allen's a guy that Carolina had, had put some, you know, resources into. They were invested in him so I find that it, Bridgewater a little different case although he was in New Orleans all of last year as well so not only just you know go find a good backup quarterback but almost in some ways sort of make sure you make one we're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports and analysis download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content make sure you subscribe to ESPN plus we'll see you there